Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 163. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 155 to 167. Trick 163, we have uh, a data set. We have day 100, well, 101, 102. We have column headings E, P, U, S, I, L, D, K, M, E, X. And we have some values. And our goal here is to, for any row of values, return the column headers, uh, but in order of value. So for example, this column we want to return, I mean in this row here, since 11 is biggest, we want to return IL first, and then MX second, and then the, oh, we have duplicates. So we want USA, US and then DK in that order and then finally EP. So that's the goal here. This is um, a reverse lookup where you look up a value in a row and then return to column. But we have an added twist here. We want it sorted by largest value. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Uh, the first thing is we, we need to use the index and look up this and then figuring out what column number it is going to be um, in accordance with the largeness of the values is going to be the big trick. Equals index. And by the way, uh, as so often is the case, I got this solution from Dominique. And if you want to see the string at the message board at the MrExcel.com site, there it is. Amazing, amazing. Equals in index. And the array is simply going to be our column headers. And I'm going to lock it going in all directions. Now, comma, we don't want a row number, even though, as Dominique pointed out, if you have just a single uh, row or column of numbers, it doesn't matter whether you put the row number or the column number. I'm going to stick with it. I get confused. Hey, I'm looking up a column, so I'm going to use column here. Now we're going to use match. And what we want to match, we're going to have to get pretty tricky here. We, we want to look up a value. Well, we have a rank function that could rank these. So we could actually uh, create a lookup value here using the small function that would find the f use the rank, find the biggest one. And as we copy the formula over, since we're going across columns, we could do the columns functions and get the rank of the first largest, second largest, third largest, fourth largest. The only trouble is we have to deal with duplicates. But let's just see how this evolves here. I'm going to say small, and then I'm going to do rank. And I'm going to take this whole range here. And by the way, we need to lock this. I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. And it wants a number to look up, and then comma, and it wants the reference. So well, we're going to take the same values in F4, F4, F4. Uh, the order here, by default, it comes in descending order. So we don't need to put that there. We can close parentheses. Now let's think about this. This is a rank function. We have uh, a range of values here and here. Let's go ahead and highlight and see how this evaluates using the F9 key. Oh look, it ranked all of them and gave us an array. So 5, 1, 2, 3. Exactly, that's right. This is the first largest, then second, third, fourth, and fifth. When we get down to this row here, we're going to run into a situation where we get 1, 2, and a 3, and a 3. So using just, I'm going to control Z, using just the rank and taking the smallest one of it as we move across the columns won't work. So here's the trick. We can add a little teeny bit to each one by doing this. Column, and we'll highlight these columns here and hit F4 to lock it, divided by 1,000. Now you could do any big number you want, but right now we get C is 3, so 3, 2, uh, 3, D, E, F, G, which will give us, sorry, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When we divide it by 1,000, it gives us just a very small number that we can add to this. Hey, let's see how this works. Let's highlight the rank and the, the, the column, and it's creating an array of values. I'll hit F9, and sure enough, look. 5.003, 1.004, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 6, the 7, those are the columns, and you divide by 1,000, so it slides the decimal uh, over three times. Now, for our first row here, it doesn't matter, but when we get down here, it will help greatly, because this will be 3.004, and this will be 3.006, so the rank function will be able to see 
a tie as this one bigger than this one. I'm going to control Z. Now that's the in the range inside of the small. So now we're going to comma and then columns. Uh, sorry, column. No, columns, because we need to highlight as we move across the columns. I'm going to select this cell right here, C18. So I'm going to put dollar sign, C18, colon, C18. That way right now it'll give us a 1. When we go over to the next column, it'll give us a 2, then a 3. And that's exactly what we want to match with the small to deal with our duplicates. Now I'm going to close parentheses on the small right there. And now I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to highlight this whole bit right here because that will give us the values for the second part of the match. Comma. So the, guess what? The small is picking one value from all of those and it will successively pick the larger ones or the largest one first then the second largest one. Uh, so that will be our lookup value. And then comma the lookup ray. I'm going to control V. That's our whole uh, ranked values with a little bit of extra added to each one. Then we have to type comma and it has to be at zero for an exact match. Close parentheses on the match. Close parentheses on the index and that's it. Control shift enter and we have a problem. I'm going to hit F2. Yeah, it looks like I forgot a zero right there. Control shift enter and then copy it down and over. And sure enough, it got even when we had some duplicates here for our USA right there and our DK right there. So there you go. That's a uh, look up the column based on successively larger values and uh, even taking into consideration duplicates. All right. Thanks, Dominique, from the Mr. Excel discussion board. See you next trip.